this is going to be an energy reading for Leo. If you are a Leo, this energy reading is going to be for you, beloved. Okay? I'm about to get ready to dive straight in. I ask my higher self, the most high, and the ascended masses to help me in this intuitive reading. All right, you guys, on the bottom of the deck for Leo, you guys have vacation. You will be traveling soon. Okay? So this could be about you traveling to go see someone, someone traveling to go see you, you going out with someone, going on a vacation. Okay, but let's see. We have mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, guess. Like, I'll be mindful though. Okay, because whoever this boo thing is, they could be masking, they could be hiding, not showing their true feelings. Okay, playing pretend, trying to guess. Like, let's see. For Leo, we have wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Someone could be hiding a marriage, hiding the fact that they're married. Okay, be mindful, Leo, of someone trying to make you like a side piece. Because that's kind of the energy that I'm getting with this. Okay, with bay and wedding now. It could be. Okay, we don't have to reach. It could be that someone um sees you as bay. They're hiding the fact that they want to marry you. Okay. They want to, you know, maybe take things to the next level, hiding their true feelings about, you know, seeing marriage with you. Okay, take it how it resonates. For some, it may be the other storyline. For others, it could be this one. So take it how it resonates, Leo. Okay, let's see. We have passion, insane chemistry, like each other, equally having fun. Okay. Now, depending on what, how it goes, for some, okay, if this is a side piece situation and someone's trying to make you a side piece, it could be about the passion. You guys have insane chemistry. The sexual chemistry is there. Okay. And this person could be very passionate about you, but you might have to be mindful if this person is hiding the fact that they're married. Now, for others... Okay, this person could just be very passionate about you, hiding the fact that they're very passionate about you, hiding the fact that they see long term, that they want to marry you. Okay, it just depends on you, Leo. It depends on you, where you fit, how you feel it fits for you. Okay, because I'm seeing it a couple ways. So let's see, another one for Leo Spirit. What does Leo need to know? We have give it time, everything in divine timing, allow things to flow. Okay, now for some, something is growing because that's what the give, give it time is giving. Something is growing. Someone is very passionate about you. The love for you could be growing. And this person could be hiding their feelings, not really showing how it is that they feel because, you know, you're, you, y'all possibly are just stealing bay, bay energy, you know, that puppy love phase. Okay, this is someone who wants to possibly move things forward with the you will be traveling soon. That could be someone wanting to move things forward, hiding the fact that they, you know, see marriage with you and that they're very passionate about you and give it time because something is growing. I'm seeing that. But then for others, y'all, there's going to be something that might be illuminated to you. You may need to give it time, especially when it comes to um, it might be a sex based connection that you have with someone. Someone could be trying to make you a side piece. Now, that's for others. Everybody's story ain't gonna be the same, okay? At the bottom of the day, we got heart with key. Oh, 333 three, three on the timestamp. Welcome and love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. Okay, I wanna lean more towards the somebody just has been hiding their feelings for y'all. That's really what I wanna lean towards, okay? Someone's been hiding their feelings for y'all, they see marriage, they're very passionate about y'all, maybe that's what how it started. It's just started off with chemistry. Y'all, you know, very passionate about each other, your chemistry was off the chain, the sexual chemistry was off the chain, and that's growing into love. It's what could it possibly be for Leo, okay? Something is growing into love. Someone's hearing wedding bells, they're, they're wanting to get a ring. Someone could have gotten a ring. Okay, they could be hiding this, masking the fact that they, they're, you know, they see marriage with you, that they see marriage with you, that their love for you is growing. Okay, we have separation here. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of our future. This could be someone that you're in separation with. Okay, someone that misses you. Okay, someone feels like the distance between you two made, made the love for you fonder. Okay, this is someone who thinks about you a lot unsure if you see you know a future with them this is maybe another reason to why they're masking their feelings why they're not showing how it is that they feel because this is someone who sees a future with you and they're unsure if you see a future with them okay yeah with the i like you someone likes you the romance is blooming fun flirt once a day i really feel like y'all okay okay y'all it might not be maybe 
maybe that was a past thing, okay? Because I was definitely getting this energy of someone like trying to treat someone kind of like a side piece. But I feel like maybe that's how it started off. Maybe y'all started off on a sex note, like or it was just very, it was very passionate. The chemistry was off the chain. Like it started off as just something very passionate, but as time went by, someone started to realize how much they like you, how much they love you, how passionate they are about you. They're hearing wedding bells, they want to buy a ring. Okay, and something about y'all being apart is what's kind of got this person thinking about the love that they have for you and the fact that they like you. A lot of hearts, a lot of love here. Okay, roses can be significant, keys can be significant, plants can be significant, a suitcase. Someone can have a suitcase with like stickers or like something on it. Okay, ribbons can be significant. All right, Leo. Okay, I like this energy for Leo. I've been praying for y'all, especially these past couple energy reads that I've been getting for y'all, Leo. I'm like, oh, we, you know, fire signs, period. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need for them to get, I need them to get some good energy. Send them some good energy. Spirit send them some good energy. But this is giving good energy, y'all. Okay, maybe someone thought they were a side piece to a situation. I don't know what that, what that, what, I don't know y'all. That has something significant. Okay. But it looks like someone wants to travel towards y'all. Okay, or this is some, this is somebody who you booed up with. This is Bay. okay. Someone who may not have been showing you their true feelings. Okay. No, or deluding how it is that they feel. Maybe they're not expressing to you fully how it is that they feel. This is someone who I feel like is hearing wedding bells, seeing marriage. Yeah, with the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. What? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. This could be just someone stable, reliable, husband material. Someone who is emotionally available. Someone who is opening their heart to love. Yeah, they want to give some. Oh, yeah, I'm saying somebody want to give somebody a ring. Somebody wants to give somebody an offer. The Ace of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Someone sees, I feel like someone feels like y'all will be a power couple. And y'all can manifest something major together. I like this for Leo. Okay, King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is someone who's full of love, y'all. We had the Ace of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> what is that? I like this. I feel like whoever this is, they were suppressing. Maybe they were holding back how it is that they feel. Because when I first looked at the Ace of Cups, it was upside down. So this could have been someone who was suppressing, holding back how it is that they feel, masking the fact that they they love you. Like they have they have a whole heart that's just available to you. Like they, I don't know, maybe they were unavailable emotionally at one point. Because I was kind of getting that. Like, somebody felt like a side piece to a situation or something. And it's like, maybe this person was still figuring out their emotions. They needed time. With the give it time, they needed time to kind of figure out their emotions. And within this separation, this distance between y'all two, it's not giving y'all are distant. It's giving y'all are still kind of tied with each other. I don't know if y'all live at a distance or... But emotionally, I feel like... There's something there. The passion is there. Y'all like each other equally. Y'all can't tell me y'all don't like each other equally. That's what the cards say. The cards say y'all like each other equally. This is someone that likes you too. Okay? Their heart has grown fonder for you. The time and space that y'all spent apart, I feel like the heart done grew fonder for somebody. Yeah, things are turning around. The Wheel of Fortune and the Star card. Aquarius, heavy Aquarius energy. We have Leo energy, Scorpio energy, Taurus energy. Sagittarius energy. Something is changing. Something is turning around. It was fated for you guys to meet this person. It was destined for you to meet this person. This is someone who wants to heal things with you. They look at you as wish fulfillment, Leo. So let's see. At the bottom of the deck, we have the two of wands. So someone's choosing a path. They have a choice in path. Aries energy. When it comes to building, oh, look, y'all. Someone's choosing a path to, that's abundant. They're going towards an empress. Okay, Taurus energy. 
Virgo, Libra, Aries energy. This is someone who's been stolen. Someone sees you, they see your worth. This is someone who sees your worth. They see the, They see you as, look, they see a future with you. They see a future with you. Something long term. Something that's going to last long term. That's going to withstand time. This is someone who sees long term with you. A future with you. An empress. They see your worth. Let's see. I like this. For Leo. We have the three of cups. For some, this, is, this could be someone that you have a friendship with. Okay, if it's not a friendship, this is someone who wants to reconcile, come together. Okay, Cancer energy for Leo. We have the Ten of Swords here. There could have been some type of betrayal, though. Or a friend could have betrayed you or this person. Gemini energy. Someone could have wanted someone to feel hopeless about a reconciliation or about coming together with someone. But with the chariot card here, Cancer Energy, someone changed their direction, their focus. This is someone who wants to travel towards you. They could have had a friend or someone who they were connected to who betrayed them or wanted them to betray you. I don't know. But this is someone who changed their direction, their focus. Um, when it comes to love, you motivated this person when it comes to love. When it comes to changing their focus, their direction. They could be seeing loved ones differently. This could be family members, friends, people that they are connected to. Someone could be seeing or realizing that people that they're connected to are people who I feel like are stabbing them in the back in some type of way or they want them to fail, especially when it comes to the direction that they're going in or about coming towards you. Someone may, someone wants someone not to come towards you. This is someone this person is tied to. Heavy Cancer and Gemini energy. That's what we have here. Cancer, Gemini, Cancer, Gemini. In that order. 12, 12, 12, 11 is significant. Okay. But there's someone who didn't want another to travel towards you. To move towards you. Okay. But it's like you motivate this person when it comes to love. Or inspire this person when it comes to commitment. When it comes to the choices that they make in love. This is someone who's going to communicate to you with the Eight of Wands about changing their direction their focus move and wanting to move something forward fast someone may want to move in someone could have tried to convince someone not to move in with you we have the nine of pentacles but i'm saying you know you're single independent self-sufficient and somebody's friend could have been talking about you or saying something about you wanting wanting a situation to fail I feel like it's not going to it's not going to deter this person from heading towards you because this is someone who wants to come towards you. They're not letting this person or people distort their view of you. Something about the way you love it motivates this person or inspires this person. We have Sagittarius Virgo energy here for Leo. We have the Five of Wands in reverse Leo energy. This is someone who doesn't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They could have been dealing with someone who was talking a lot about you, about like in a passive way though. Like this could be someone who was like, oh, I'm looking out for you. I'm trying to let you know, like I'm showing you love, but it's given more like in a passive way. This is someone who wanted, didn't want this person to come towards you, travel towards you, Leo. But with the Two of Cups here, this is someone who looks at you as a soulmate. A single individual could have been trying to get guidance or direction from a couple as well. A couple that may have inspired them when it came to the choices that they made in love. But there's someone who's very passive, who wanted someone to feel betrayed. This could be a friend or somebody who this person entrusted to give them, I feel like, sound advice or direction when it comes to maybe a choice in love that they wanted to make. And it's like someone was trying to tear this person from going towards whoever this single energy is. What is going on with this spirit for Leo? 
we have the three of swords. There could have been some type of heartbreak. Someone could have been heartbroken about something that someone said. I don't feel like it, it deterred them from wanting to come towards you. I feel like it kind of, it hurt them. It, it broke their heart, whatever this communication that they got from someone. Three of swords in reverse, Libra energy. But I feel like someone is um, forgiving someone for something, something that was communicated to them. This is someone who may have allowed heartbreak from another relationship hold them back from communicating. So maybe it was more than just maybe friends. Maybe friends were telling this person to stay single for a while, they just got betrayed. But in the same sense, I feel like these are people who were kind of being passive because this is someone who felt like if they went in your direction that they would have love a fair exchange, it would be duality, that you would be a good choice, a healthy choice in love. Someone may have needed to forgive maybe some choices that they've made or choices that have been made in relationships in the past. Forgive that, stay optimistic. Someone's releasing heartbreak though and possibly rejection wounds with the Four of Cups or needing to. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm seeing good news though. Leo. So there could have been someone trying to create challenges, seeing someone as competition, wanting someone to struggle. Okay, but you will overcome. Okay, someone could have wanted someone to be in their head or someone could have blocked, someone blocked someone from calling them from jail. I don't know why I'm getting that. Someone could have blocked someone from calling them from jail, rejected someone's call. Someone wanted to hear good news or hear something from someone. I don't know what that's about, but for Leo, we have the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. There's someone feeling wounded. Someone possibly in bad health. This is someone who was trying to throw rocks and hide their hands. Someone trying to betray someone, stab someone in the back. This could be a friend for some, Leo. They're watching you, looking at you as like you're this single, independent, successful individual. You're thriving, you're accomplished, you're reaping benefits of your successes. And this person over here could be a Leo, a Sag. You could be, I don't know. This could be a Leo, another Leo, or your energy Leo, Sag. We have Gemini here, Cancer, Virgo. But it's like someone's looking at this successful individual who's accomplished, and this is someone who's wounded, and they're being passive by throwing rocks and hiding their hands, talking a lot of mess. Possibly, this could be a third party, anybody, a third party friend, family member, whatever, somebody that this person is connected to, or you're connected to, who, was celebrating like some type of betrayal, stabbing up the back. This is someone who was being very passive. I, I feel like this is someone who wanted you to change your direction or wanted someone to change their direction, their focus, when it came to this single independent energy. This Whoever this energy is, they're surrounded by people who are wounded, who are wounded warriors, who have been betrayed, who are... Who, who like to talk and gossip. That's really what it's giving. And they wanted someone to change the direction they're focusing when it comes to reconciling with someone or coming together with someone. And I feel like whatever it, they were hearing, it could have had this person feeling wounded because they were going through something with a third party. This is someone who was going through something with a third party. Maybe that's what I was picking up. Like maybe that's what made you feel like this person was making you a third party to something. And they could have. They were dealing with something with a third party, a betrayal. And I feel like this person had people giving them advice about changing their direction, their focus on having a relationship. I don't feel like it was bad advice. Maybe this person did need to not focus on relationships and they needed to just kind of focus on themselves. But I feel like the people that, they, that were saying this, they were saying it like they were saying it out of love, but these were people who were really being passive. They didn't want this person to go towards love. So in a sense, it wasn't really good advice. It was good advice, but it wasn't. They weren't saying it in a way where they wanted this person to look out for themselves. They were saying it in a way of they didn't want this person to go in a direction where there was love. 
Cause ain't no love over here. This is betrayal, gossip, rumors. You know, could be a friend group that, you know, drinks together, celebrates together, hang out, talk, gossip, be real passive towards each other. And it, I feel like it leaves this person in a wounded energy. But this is someone who's a nine of pentacles, like someone accomplished, successful, and they're hanging around people who possibly aren't as accomplished or as successful. They possibly talk about this person and how they gain their accomplishments and all of that. And that's why it keeps them wounded in some type of way. I don't know. But this is someone who I feel like is changing their direction, their focus. They're realizing that the relationship that they have with you or they could have with you is a good choice in love. But this is someone who's also, like I said, healing from heartbreak, releasing heartbreak, trying to stay optimistic and hopeful when it comes to love. You can motivate them or inspire them when it comes to love and the relationships that surround them. So this is someone I feel like is changing their focus and their direction when it comes to the relationships around them. They could be realizing that they did them with a lot of passive energies, people who gossip, spare rumors, betray people, stab them in the back, you know, wanting people to feel wounded because these are people who are wounded. Someone may want to communicate to you about some choices that they've made in love and how they're trying to change their direction. We have the hangman card. Yeah, this is someone who's going to change perspective. This is someone who's realizing that they're going to have to make some sacrifices in life and possibly release some people over here. They could have been stagnant for a minute because of this, because they had people around them that were very passive. 999 is significant. 99, 33, 23, 32. Six, seven, eight, three, two, three. Someone's definitely getting a change of perspective about someone who possibly was throwing rocks and hiding their hand as well. When it comes to a partnership, a relationship, a connection that someone wanted to go towards. For Leo, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, Aries Leo Sag. Someone could have been connected to someone who's aggressive, demanding, jealous, deceitful. Someone who lacks confidence. Could be a witch, doesn't have to be. But someone's gonna change perspective of whoever this is that they were connected to too. This could have been someone who they had a personal friendship, relationship, connection to someone who wanted this person to change their direction their focus is giving like a, fr a friend with benefits maybe that's what it was that i'm feeling too i don't know this person could have had a friend with benefits or just someone who they were connected to who wanted to change this person's perspective they were being very passive about it though trying to betray this person i don't feel like they wanted this person to come in your direction Okay, yeah, I just seen the Seven of Cups. Scorpio energy. This is someone who wanted to create an illusion around you or about you. Okay, Ten of Wands here. Sagittarius energy to have you feeling weighed down, burdened, heavy on the Sag energy. Wanted someone to feel weighed down, burdened by a lot of responsibility, stress, by creating some type of blockage. This is someone who was frustrated and feeling wounded about someone being accomplished and celebrating their accomplishments whoever this single energy is over here i'm assuming it's the empress because we started off with the empress someone sees this empress in their future this is someone that they want to reconcile with or come together with three of cups but somehow someone has betrayed this empress i don't know if this person masculine or feminine energy because i'm getting both could have betrayed whoever this person is when it comes to the direction that they were going in in some type of way because they were dealing with somebody who was very passive someone was throwing rocks and hiding their hands and they're getting a change of perspective about this possibly seeing that somebody is really jealous of whoever this empress is this is someone who then they themselves is wounded feeling way down and they wanted the empress or whoever the single energy is to look like They were a wounded warrior and they were burdened and they were stressed and had blockages and somebody's going to change the perspective of this now though. They're seeing something differently about 
the connection that they're in and connection that they're with. They're having a tower moment with a tower card, Aries, Scorpio energy. As they sit in this hangman position, someone's been stagnant, receiving enlightenment. 11, 11 can be significant. 9, 10, 10, 9. I'm seeing 10, 9, 9, 10. Someone's getting a change of perspective through it's in a tower moment about someone wanting someone to feel weighed down and burdened and feel like a wounded warrior and throwing rocks and hiding their hands. Wanting someone to betray someone. This could have been someone who was envious or jealous of someone's accomplishments, of someone celebrating their accomplishments, someone being in an empress energy, someone having long-term, having a possibility to build something long-term, build a legacy with someone. That's what it's looking like, y'all. With the Six of Swords here, someone's moving on, though. Whatever this tower moment, this enlightenment they're receiving is helping someone to move forward, to move on from, I feel like, people who wanted this person to feel weighed down or burdened or have them feel wounded or, you know, lack confidence or wanting someone to feel stabbed in the back or betrayed. Like, I don't know what this person was saying, what it, but it's like they were trying to say it like they were coming from a loving space, but they weren't. They weren't. Ain't no love over here. It's just all wands and swords and a, a, a nine of pentacles. Someone wanted someone to feel wounded, weighed down. They were being very passive about it with something that they were saying, a lot of talk that they were saying. And it was like, I don't know. It was making someone, it kind of gives me like it was making someone feel like they weren't enough or I don't know. For a situation to head towards a situation i don't know if this person wanted this person to feel like you weren't enough or they wanted this other person to feel like they weren't enough but this was a soulmate connection like someone seeing love you inspired this person to love like you triggered this person to love and we had that ace of cups this could have been someone who was closed off emotionally because of the people that they were around but it's like when you came around them you triggered this heart chakra awakening in them they started to feel all these newfound emotions maybe that's why y'all needed time and space apart because this person possibly was still trying to figure out their own their own emotions on top of they had people around them who was trying to betray them and keep them from going towards love and being very passive about it really weird energy queen of cups pisces cancer scorpio at the bottom of the deck but this is me i feel like this is someone who loves you back we had the king of cups in the beginning y'all the king of cups and the king of pentacles in the beginning with the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups queen of cups you could have triggered a heart shock or awakening in this person it's the love that you give. It's like no other. With the world card, it's helping someone to start a new beginning. They're closing out a cycle and starting out anew. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus energy. This is someone who wants to come into union with you. They want to marry you. Oh my God. I love this energy, y'all. For some, it could be a twin flame. And that is the truth. That is the fucking truth. Truth and clarity with the Ace of Swords. Someone's going to get truth and clarity about what makes them happy, about someone who makes them happy. Someone has someone has a plan, okay, that they working on, whoever this King of Pentacles is, Swords, Virgo, Capricorn, okay. Someone's going through a change, a transformation. I love this Scorpio energy. Someone's definitely going through some type of change. Their, their heart is opening. Someone's holding, like, it's, I don't know, it's like someone... It's like waiting to give you they love. Tower moment at the bottom of the deck. Tower. The divine is stepping in. Okay. We had the tower right here. Scorpio, Aries energy. I hid how I really felt about you. Somebody hid how they really felt about you. This is someone who loves you. This is someone who wants to move things forward. I feel like when it comes to this love dynamic, Someone someone tried to get in, in the middle of this. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, Aries, Leo, Sag, Heavy Aries, Heavy Sag. We got um, Aquarius, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Heavy Cancer, Libra Energy, Leo. There was somebody who wanted to get in between a love dynamic, a soulmate connection. Someone wants to reconcile now. Or come together. They see you celebrating your accomplishments. You're doing this single-handedly. Someone may... I don't know, y'all. 
Someone wanted you to look like you were in this wounded warrior energy. Like you were weighed down and burdened and you were having trouble moving on from a situation or they, you know, I don't know. Or someone else needed time to move on from a situation or some of us were, y'all. I don't know. For Leo, let's see. What does Leo need to know? At the bottom of the deck, we have friend. A friend is significant. I told y'all this. Okay. Let's see. We have resistance to change set in my ways. This could be someone who's resistant to change and set in their ways. Air and fire energy. Okay, let's see. For Leo. What does Leo need to know, spirit? We have Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Okay, you could be dealing with a Cancer. Okay, these are people, possibly friends, who are resistant to change. They are set in their way. Okay, let's see. I made up my mind. Fire energy, someone's making up their mind. This could be you. Maybe you're making up your mind when it comes to people who are resistant to change. You could be moving on from these people. Okay, we have victim mentality. I'll blame you. Fire energy, these could be people who are in victim mentality. They'll blame you. Okay, so they'll blame other people. These are people who are resistant to change. We have the letters A, D, G, J, M, P, S, V, Y. Those letters can be significant. Let's see, for Leo, what does C and H is also significant? I'm, I'm seeing that too. C, H, P, and L for Leo. We have Aries. I'm emotionally unavailable. Somebody is emotionally unavailable. Whoever this is, they're a snake in the grass. You need to cut your grass, Leo. Okay, because whoever this is, they're sending you the evil eye. Whoever is an emotionally unavailable person who's resistant to change, this snake, they sending y'all the evil eye. It could be an Aries. Okay, at the bottom of the day, we got an awakening. Okay, you could be going through an awakening. Okay, that's giving me the judgment card. Scorpio energy can be significant. Karmic energy. Someone's awakening to the karmic energies around them. I'm trying to tell y'all. Somebody, somebody is looking at someone as inspiration when it comes to love as a healthy choice. And it's making them look at the other choices of the people around them and who they have around them. They're seeing the people that's around them. And they're seeing that these are possibly snakes. They're awakening to this. Okay, that these are karmics. Okay, someone is living a life of gratitude. Get, uh someone is living a life of ease give gratitude okay leo you could be living a life of ease give gratitude it's an abundant attitude and lies are being told gossip and rumors i told y'all yeah someone it's like someone wants to get to know y'all they do they want to get to know y'all this is someone who has an open heart cancer energy is out here twice someone who has an open heart they're very loving and then there's somebody who's lying spreading gossip and rumors Possibly to victimize you. These are people who are who play victim, who are resistant to change. I don't know if these are friends that's around you or friends that's around someone else who wants to come towards you. But I'm seeing some type of reconciliation or someone want to communicate to you, Leo. Okay? But that is the energy reading for Leo.